By now, you should be acquainted with the theory behind NMR spectroscopy. Safety first. NMR spectroscopy involves strong magnetic fields. Anyone with a cardiac pacemaker or other implanted device should stay clear of the NMR room. In addition, credit cards and phones are susceptible to damage. The long desks mark the minimum safe distance from the much stronger magnet of the 300 MHz NMR. Only a tiny bit of sample is needed for a good spectrum, but the volume of the sample and its position within the magnet is important. Always prep the sample in the hood and use a new pipette for each transfer. If you're running a neat liquid, simply add enough of it to fill 3.5 centimeters of the NMR tube. We use tetramethyl silane, or TMS, as an internal standard for calibrating chemical shift. Add one drop TMS. Carefully cap the tube and gently shake to mix. NMR tubes are fragile and pricey, so use care when handling them. Most of the time we work with much smaller quantities of sample in a deuterated solvent such as chloroform D. NMR solvents are also sold pre-mixed with TMS, so be sure to check the label. For liquids, place one small drop in the NMR tube. With a new pipette, add solvent to a height of 3.5 centimeters. Cap the tube and gently mix to dissolve thoroughly. Any concentration gradient in your tube will affect the quality of your spectrum. Solids must also be completely dissolved. First, determine that your solid dissolves well in ordinary solvent, which is much cheaper. Then prepare a solution with the deuterated solvent in a very clean, small test tube. Transfer the solution to the NMR tube again to a height of 3.5 centimeters. Make sure there's no undissolved material. Any particulate matter in the NMR tube will affect the spectrum. In your experiments, you'll be using the Anasazi EFT90. The large enclosure houses the permanent magnet and RF coils while the smaller enclosure houses the spectrometer. Turn on the air compressor to the right of the magnet. Open the sample chamber and slowly press the button at the upper right to eject the standard, a sealed amber glass tube. Using a Kim wipe to hold the spinner, replace the standard with your sample. To prevent breakage, Hold the assembly close to the spinner and rotate as you apply pressure. Use the gauge to position the spinner properly. Check once more for fingerprints, then place the assembly into the chamber. It's supported by a stream of compressed air, controlled by a switch at the right front of the chamber. Gently turn off the compressed air, and then turn it back on. Check to see if the assembly is spinning. If not, eject and repeat. Close the chamber cover. PNMR is the application that records data from the spectrometer. Ensure you're running a proton spectrum. Type ZG, then hit Enter to obtain a rough spectrum for calibration. There's no need to save the spectrum in a special folder. Just hit Enter again at the dialog. When the scan is complete, open the NUTS application, which performs a Fourier transform. Type A to enter to view the spectrum. Locate the peak furthest up field. This is the TMS proton signal. Click and hold, moving the crosshairs to the peak until it's highlighted in green. 
While holding, note the distance of the peak from zero. This is the frequency offset. Return to the PNMR application, type F, O, and hit enter. Input the offset value followed by the desired value, which in most cases will be zero. Type S, H, I, M, enter to start the shimming process, which adjusts the homogeneity of the magnetic field. At the prompt for relaxation delay, Enter 2 for a concentrated sample, or 4 for a dilute sample. Most of our samples will be concentrated. Multiple scans improve the signal-to-noise ratio in your spectrum, but take more time. When the shim is complete, type NS Enter to set the number of scans. It must be a multiple of 4. 16 is usually a good starting point. You're now ready to acquire a proper spectrum. Type ZG Enter, but this time enter a file name pointed at the appropriate folder. When the scans are complete, return to the NUTS application and type A to Enter to view the new spectrum. To export your spectrum for analysis in other software, Locate the folder you chose and copy the .h1 file that was created. Now it's time to clean up. Open the sample chamber and eject the assembly. Remove your sample from the spinner and replace it with the amber glass standard. Reload the magnet with the standard. And close the chamber cover. Finally, turn off the air compressor.